Well, I had a house, a freehold house, and um, I sold it and um, with the intentions of buying another house, but most of it went in the pokies. So I put a minimum deposit on another house and lost that as well. At its most extreme, it was all about the pokies. My morals went out the door. I didn't even think about looking after my children properly. I couldn't think about um, paying bills. I couldn't think about anything but the pokies. So they just took over my whole mind and I lost everything. And I couldn't help myself. I just didn't know want to leave. If I could, I would have been there all day, all night. I know they're very addictive and I know that they've got a very strong hold on people. And I hear it in the groups that I run. Uh, I hear people that don't have problems like divorces and things like that, going in with friends after work, playing a little bit and then leaving and then going back the next week, playing another $5 and before they know it, they're in there all the time and with a fully blown addiction. I am an artist before this life and um, it was a way of expressing myself and another way of healing as well and remembering quotes and feelings through the artwork. I would never have seen myself in that position ever, ever. I can't believe that's me even. I'm even embarrassed today and sometimes still ashamed that I did that for 10 years. I was ready to stop from the beginning, but I couldn't stop. I remember saying today, no, not gonna go, not gonna go, I'm in my car, not gonna go, not gonna go, I'm in the car park, no, 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 not gonna go, and I've got the coins in front of me and playing. And I was too embarrassed to tell anyone, too ashamed to tell anyone. It was a nightmare. When I stopped playing the pokies, um, I came to a group called Pokies Anonymous, which was step, a 12-step program. And um, I just stopped because I was ready. Don't ever go there. Don't even put a dollar in. They're not fun. That they'll become your worst enemy. It took me ages to understand that I can't win because I thought I was a winner, even in that delusional knowing full well I've lost everything. But I really understand it now. You just can't win, you'll never win. It's been nearly seven years since I've stopped and um, sometimes I look back and I think, why did I do that? Why me? What happened? How come? You know? But the fact that I've stopped playing and helping others is, is a miracle anyway. It's, it's the best thing that's ever happened. So, And I'm completely there for all my family. <laughs>